my little baby. My little baby. Oh, big yawn. Yeah, big yawn. Okay. First thing I've had to eat today. Story of my life. Oh my gosh, okay. I need to go get ready. <laughs> We're gonna be real chatty today. I, um, my mom just went and, or she came and got Ezra. She had voted, came to get Ezra, and now I'm gonna go get ready, run to vote, come back, and then I need to um, film some stuff. It's gonna be a chatty vlog, but I wanna talk a couple things. So we're gonna be doing the snoo review at the end of this vlog. If you are looking for like how to set it up, best uses, that kind of stuff, this isn't that vlog. This isn't just my review, like how my husband and I use it for our baby. And the reason I decided to do a video was because I was gonna write a blog post and then I realized a couple things. One, it would be the world's longest blog post and nobody in their right mind would wanna read that. Two, we use it differently now than we did when he was first born. And we will probably use it differently in a few months. So um, I just feel like a vlog, is a little bit better so we will be talking about that but first let me share these i think they're in here no they're in my beauty room okay so i had a uh clogged duck this weekend brought on by engorgement brought on by my period i wish i was kidding just hold on a second so i got my period this past weekend which was super crazy and uh, completely unexpected. I was told that I may not get it back the entire time I'm breastfeeding. I was told I could get it back, you know, in a few months. And on, I think it was Thursday night, I started spotting and I was like, that's kind of weird. But I, it didn't even cross my mind that it was my period because I have absolutely no cramps. Like right to this very day, I'm on five. And so it should be ending today. I think it actually is like, you guys know when it's like, it's it's pretty much over. Um. Still have not had not the first cramp with this period, not one. And so I was like, kind of wonder what this is. The next day I woke up full blown, like bleeding. And I thought for sure something was wrong. Like I actually emailed my doctor and I was like, there's like, something has to be wrong here because I'm bleeding a lot and I have no cramps. And they were like, no, sometimes that happens. That's, that's your period. And I'm like, but I'm nine weeks postpartum and breastfeeding. And they basically just said, you know, it, it can return. It's not the same for everybody. So, it actually made me feel a lot better to know that a lot of you guys had got your cycle back. Like some of you guys said you're six weeks, po six weeks postpartum and you got your period back this past weekend too. Um, or you had gotten it back six weeks postpartum. And it was also very encouraging to hear that a lot of you guys haven't had your breastfeeding journey affected because of your cycle, which it, I have heard it can do. It actually did not make my supply plummet. It completely catapulted it forward and I was engorged and I was there was milk everywhere it was like week one all over again and I ended up getting the worst clogged duck you guys it was on this side it was on the very top it was like the size of a hockey puck and it hurt and I got in the shower I I did every single thing that I physically knew how to do for it and it was not even budging like you name it I tried it dangle feeding um, uh, the shower head express, massagers, everything. Enter these. So I remember that I bought these. They're the legendary milk sunflower lecithin pills. Um, it's like $22 for 200 of these. And I shared these on my Instagram and tons of people were like, no, those are like the best thing for clogged ducts. Some of you guys said they caused an increase in your supply. Um, some people said they take them daily. So I read on the back that it says you're supposed to take three to four of these daily when you have a clogged duct. I found the clogged duct late in the evening and so I just took three before I went to bed and I really didn't have the time to space them out like I think you're supposed to do. I woke up it was like 40% better. Um, it wasn't 100% gone, but it was a lot better. So yeah, I nursed Ezra, took another one as soon as I was done nursing him. And then by the time I nursed him again, three hours later, 100% gone. You guys, the thing was literally the size of a hockey puck and nothing was making it go away. So these are amazing and I will be keeping these because they are incredible. Um, but I, I just, 
was completely shocked that when I got my period back nine weeks postpartum to that, you know, it, it caused me to be engorged like I was and just so much milk. Um, I, I just, I'm a little shocked by that. So I did want to share these. If you struggle with clogged ducts and like you're the kind that like massaging them and stuff like that just won't get out. I mean, Hakka trick with the salt water. I tried it all. Nothing worked and this got it out in 12 hours. So going to continue to keep those around just in case, but my period made me really emotional as well. Um, it, it was super weird. So it started on June 10th and I told Sam, so July 9th was the last cycle was the cycle that I had that I got pregnant with Ezra on. And cause you know, you, you know, that date so much in the beginning, that first cycle day one matters. You get asked a ton at those first few appointments. Like when was your last, the first day of your last period? Um, they ask you that at like your ultrasounds. They ask you that at like your doctor's appointments. I mean, I think I had to talk about the last first day of my period, I think until I was 10 weeks pregnant. So July 9th was a big day because that was the cycle day one for me in 2021 when I got pregnant with Ezra. And so to come to June 10th and have that other cycle day one, even though I was like holding my two week old, two month old, I still was like, it made me very emotional to be like, it's over. Like that whole entire experience, every everything up to that moment was over. It was 11 months and so it was just, it was crazy that that's how it all kind of worked out. So um, yeah, wanted to share these before talking about the snoo. If you struggle with clogged ducts and just snow, don't be like I am and be so ill prepared. I literally had to get a Depends diaper from when I was postpartum. I still had some in the closet and wear that because I did not have any feminine hygiene product. It was, it was a lot. I was very unprepared and very, confused but good thing is is you don't always get cramps back after you have a baby so cycle day five haven't had the first cramp and it has been the world's easiest period just very unexpected okay you guys know my water bottle obsession it's a little embarrassing but this one was sent to me so it's not fully on me i just got done filming my target video um this one was sent to me though, and it comes in a bunch of different like sizes and colors and stuff. This is the 24 ounce in the marble. And Sam liked this one so much, he's so particular about his cups. I've never met a human being who claimed to care less about something, but is so particular. So he got the 16 ounce, um, and his has like trees on it. I'll have to show it to you when he gets home. It's really cool, but I gotta run out now and go vote. And then I gotta go pick up my son. But I wanted to share this cup because, you know, Cups Anonymous is part of me. Needs to be a part of me at least. Honestly, same with sunglasses. Like, look at this. And by the way, so I broke my, these are the Jezebel from Key. And I broke mine the other day. I slammed them in between the car doors by accident and broke them. So I reordered some from key because i love these and these are actually different they are like much the material of them what they're made of is different it's much lighter weight which i actually prefer but they're charging the same amount which is a little sketch to me because the quality of these it's not that it's less than like it's still they're so good quality but like i can tell these aren't as heavy duty does that make sense like they look exactly the same they look good and i prefer this that's a little shady to be making your glasses of something that like feels less durable and still charge, you know, a decent amount for them, which is why I love my Amazon Sunnies. And then these actually look very similar to the Key Sunnies and they are from Amazon and they are dirt cheap. I just don't like that these don't have an earpiece on them. Um, so, okay, I gotta go, but this cup, you need it, you need it. I mean, at this point I need to just stop making plans. The footage that you guys saw was supposed to be two days ago. I wanted to get this vlog up out two days ago. And I feel like every time since having a baby that I put it out there that I'm gonna do something, Ezra Miles really says, hold my beer, and it never happens. And if I don't make a to-do list, if I don't have any plans for the day, I get so much done. I get everything done. It's when I make the plans that it doesn't work. So he's not sleeping in the snoo right now. He's asleep right here. I'm gonna try and go get ready so that, oh my, oh my goodness, I can get ready because I need, just, I need to feel mentally normal today. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, 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 I fully planned on this new review going up two days ago and it just did not, did not happen like that. 
So let me go get ready. I wanna show you guys him, he's so cute. He just pulled the blanket up higher, but he loves to sleep in the swing whenever he's refusing naps. That seems to be the one place where he will actually sleep when he is refusing all of their naps, which can you tell he's done that today? Do I look like I've been <laughs> screamed at by my tongue me cold enough? Cause I have, he yells at me. <laughs> So I'm gonna try and get ready. Then we're gonna cross our fingers and toes that I can get this new review for you guys. Y'all, I really think those curlers are gonna do me in. My hair's not falling, not one out, like one ounce. My hair is not falling at all, so do not judge this. We're gonna just tuck it back. It needs to fall a little bit, but like seriously, I think the Dyson is just gonna be superior always because I've tried to get the blowout look with curlers and I cannot do it. And the volume up here, it doesn't matter what I do. It just does not work. Like I love the curlers. I love the way it looks. I love how easy, but this is a hot mess. So let's talk snoo. And before we talk snoo, let me, let me throw a little few disclaimers out there. So before the snoo is a very expensive piece of truly equipment. Um, it is hands down the most expensive thing that we purchased for our son, even more expensive than his stroller. And we bought it with our own money. Happiest baby does not know who I am. Um, yeah, so it's expensive. You need to do your own research before you buy any baby products, period. And I'm going to say this and I might get hate for this. Joining a Facebook mom group and asking moms on Facebook does not count as research. Kid, I just sat down. You've been asleep. Let me grab my phone actually. So the snoo, let me turn some lights on because we've got a bad storm. If you want just yes or no answer, you don't really care to hear me jabber on about it, 100% love the snoo, would buy it again tomorrow if given the option, the opportunity, and don't regret the purchase, not one bit. It came in very easy to set up, to use, um, and we actually, Sam and I both agreed, we were ready to come home from the hospital just so we could put him in it. And Ezra is a good sleeper, but we think that the snoo makes it a better sleeper, he, him a better sleeper. We wanted to get him home from the hospital because we wanted to use the snoo. One of the things about it that we like the most that I'll show you guys in a second is it moves, which is amazing. Now you have to have the child in a happiest baby swaddle and it has to be clipped. It's called engaged. Like the app will tell you the clips are not engaged and the snoo won't start for like safety reasons. If they are not, that they don't have those clips in because they just don't want you to put a baby in something that's moving if they're not, you know, secure. It responds to a baby crying. So if you have ever taken the taking care of babies course, um, I'm not going to talk about her course because you do have to pay for it. And that would be again, like giving away her, what she's worked hard for, for free. But if you have taken it, you know what the cries method is. Um, the snoo essentially does the cries method for you. It is not a cry it out method. It is not a sleep training method. Basically it just moves and has a white noise, like continue machine which when your child is born they've been moving and you know hearing that white noise sound for all that time and then they're born and the world is so quiet at night and you know they're just laying still and so that's kind of it's to help the transition from like womb to world a little bit make it easier um, when the baby cries a little bit it knocks up one so the white noise gets a little bit louder and it starts to rock a little bit harder there are a couple more settings if at one point it does get um, a little bit higher like the baby's really stirring um, it starts to rock a little harder and then the white noise gets a little bit louder if at that point I believe it goes over like two minutes it cuts off and tells you you know hey your baby needs you this isn't just you know them being a restless sleeper um, it's only done that one time with us and it was because I was outside with the monitor and it like I I could see him he looked fine but it had actually frozen I hadn't realized it and so the monitor was too far and it wasn't picking up that he was like crying and needed me and then my phone pinged and it was telling me like you need to go tend to Ezra so um, I've only had it happen once. I never let it get up to that second level because babies are restless sleepers. So I let it, you know, definitely kick up a notch, rock a little bit harder. Nine times out of 10, Ezra goes back to sleep very quickly. Um, active sleep with babies is terrifying if you do not know that that is coming. Like no one told me about that until I took the taking care of babies course before we had Ezra. And Sam and I were both so grateful that we took that course because we had no idea that babies could be screeching. They can even sound like they're crying in their sleep um, and they're completely asleep. So the fact that it moves, I just want to put that out here. It is not a cried out method. It does not take place, you know, of, of you going to pick your baby up. And they even tell you that at Happiest Baby, like on the website, like it says, like this is not 
meant to be in place of you soothing your child. It's just meant for those active sleep moments to kind of, you know, help. All right, so let me show you guys the snooze. So right now, he doesn't take his naps with it on because he sleeps so good in the snoo that he actually will sleep too hard and it will do the opposite and he will wake up at nighttime. <laughs> so he sleeps in here, but we don't have it on. This is all that we keep in here. It has like mesh sides to it. Um, this is the mattress. You can get uh, sheets, different sheets and different swaddles. And this is the swaddle. So you put the baby in. I don't know why there's cat hair in this because my cats do not get in any of his baby stuff. You secure it like that across his arms and then this. And I'm telling you right here, when I secure this thing up, it is like go time for Ezra. He knows what's happening and he goes to sleep. Um, then you zip him up and then these are the clips that secure him in the snoo. Um, it does have mesh netting at the like top and right here at the bottom so they don't get too hot. And it also does have the option at the top to open up. Um, there's like buttons if your baby does not like to have their arms swaddled down. There's a button on the side. You can start with the app, but we always just click the button on the side. And this is just his monitor, by the way. And you can see it rotates right there. So if, if Ezra was in the snoo right now, I turn it on, this is what I see. It automatically, I can turn it up myself, but if he starts to cry and they hear it, or the snoo hears it, it turns it up. You can see rocking a little bit faster. It's trying to soothe him. And then again, if he continues to cry, it on its own will bump up even more. You can really hear it change then. You can pause it, tend to the baby, hit play. It'll go right back to the normal one. So that's kind of the gist of how it works. It's pretty straightforward. There is a um, little thing that it shows you um, how they sleep at night. I will put one up on the screen right here. So it's this little like upside down U. And basically it shows from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So that would be all of his naps. And then 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. Whenever, you know, that's generally the time that babies go to sleep. Um, Ezra sleeps really good. This one I think is, uh, I took a screenshot of it. I think it's like eight and a half hours he slept. So really good sleep that night. But that day he did take naps in the snoo, but we didn't turn it on because again, he sleeps so deeply in it that sometimes we're like, no, we're not going to do it because he sleeps, he takes, you know, when he naps, he takes decent naps, but I don't want him to be in such a deep sleep that he is up all night long. Again, taking care of babies. I would have let him, I would not have taken her course. I so recommend her course. I would have, I would always have him sleeping in that and he would be so deep sleep and then I would be confused on why he's not sleeping at night. Um, so what we do when he sleeps in there and we don't turn it on is either we just put him in the swaddle that's in there. He gets secured to the side and he sleeps or we will sometimes use this sleep suit. I don't use this all the time. This is kind of nap refusal thing because as soon as I put him in this, out like a light. I mean, I'm talking like done so he's just he's good um he already took a nap in this today because today just hasn't been a great nap day every baby you know they're different they have their good days they have their bad days doesn't mean that it's all good it doesn't mean it's all bad but um it really just depends i can kind of tell on how groggy he's gonna be if he's gonna fight me i'll put him in the merlin sleep suit but he always is sleeping in this bassinet he will not sleep in the bassinet when he is officially transitioned to his crib in a few months yeah you want to be held okay mommy misses you hold on God, I love when they do this. They like squish up. It's so precious. You guys know what I'm talking about when you like miss your baby when they're sleeping. So he just woke up and I was like, okay, I'll hold you. Yeah. He's in his pajamas today. Mommy decided not to get him dressed because I just kind of, the temperature's weird. It's very cold in the house because it's hot outside. So we're wearing long sleeves. So yes, 100% hands down, snooze the best thing. I swear it's what made Ezra a good sleeper straight off the bat because especially the reason I wanted to do a video here is because we use it differently now than we will, you know, used it when he was born and we'll use this new differently when he um, is about to go to his crib. But I think, you know, that first night home from the hospital, he was really restless with his sleep. And so it, it kind of stayed on that second level um, for like the first week, but he slept so good. So it was like, he was sleeping, I mean, from the hospital, I think Ezra's third night home, I had to start waking him up to eat because you have to wake them up until they get back to their birth weight. And he wasn't back at his birth weight yet. And he would get so annoyed with me when I would wake him up. And then as soon as he was back at his birth weight, I think he was like 10 days old, um, the doctor was finally like, yeah, you, you don't have to wake him up anymore. He slept 
through the night and the the snoo definitely had to work like it was working hard a couple nights there you know it was definitely having to work to keep him back to sleep but again it was just that really active sleep that they do um where he was crying and stirring but he was you know his head looks like it's like back i promise it's fully supported i don't know why it always looks like that Sweet boy. Yeah, I just wanted to just give you a quick little rundown, although this has not been quick, of what I think of the snoo, um, what we use it for, how we use it. I hope this answers any and all questions. I just feel like there's so much controversy surrounding it solely because of the price and the fact that kids are secured to the swaddle itself. That seems to be the two things that I hear the most about. Um, but you have to do what's best for you and your child and you have to make the, those decisions, just you and the person who is gonna help raise that baby. Well, and you don't owe people an explanation for the decisions that you make for your child. And I think that's the one thing that I've heard w since becoming a mom and even in like the Facebook mom groups that I keep going back to, everyone demands that you owe them an explanation for your decisions and it, it was just the decision we made and we're very happy with it. So to each its own, but we are very very happy with it we will be keeping it it comes in a box it actually it shows you how to break it down so that you can put it back together um, and store it so that you can use it for another baby we will definitely be using it for our second baby and then after that we are giving it away and I'm never having another baby after that I'm only having two. Oh my gosh we do not travel with the snoo they do say that you should if you have it we do not do that we just had a travel fastener and just swaddled them down and that was that but yeah we will 100% be using it for the next one and we will we use it for six months now. The only time I would say it's not worth buying is if you don't plan to use it for the full six months or you're not planning to use it for multiple children. But everyone who I have seen talk to that has actively used the snoo absolutely loves it and like says they would purchase it over again in a heartbeat. I have a girlfriend who is pregnant. She's due in August. Um, her brother and sister-in-law, they used the snoo for their son and then they chose not to have another baby. And so they gave her the snoo and she's now gonna use it for her daughter daughter and she's super excited about it so yeah it, it's just to each its own I know this was very long-winded I hope that it you know I covered everything that I possibly could but I gotta get back to loving on this little one who is waking up look at the scrunch look at the scrunch oh I love when they do that it's the best thing in the world a little duck face stretch she's so precious yeah all right guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog